into the pack. Very interesting. Uh, Paul Morris, you know, you see that super cheap on there. That's that's what he was working with down in Australia now. United Fiber and Dada uh, helping him out here in the States. Teammates with Bill Hines and Matty Bramlos as the green flag drops. We are off and running, Matt. Also a very clean helmet for Paul Morris. I noticed too, he's put his sprint car <laughs> helmet away and put a brand new one on for this weekend. As we get underway for race number two, Bill Hines will lead us down to turn one with a Q80 racer, Khalid Almodaf in second, and Keegan Kincaid after repairing his truck up in third position. Keegan Kincaid undoubtedly looking for some redemption out here in race number two, getting collected up in a crash from race number one, involving Robbie Gordon, Davey Hamilton, and other drivers uh, with a DNF for him. We show that Kincaid passes for second right there, gets by Khalid Almadov, makes that pass stick. Oh, but Davey Hamilton goes around. I don't know, he got into uh, Khalid Almadov a little bit there. I think that was more Hamilton's issue than it was Almadov's as he spins around in the Royal Purple number 30. Right now, out in front, Bill Hines leads in the 57 behind him. Kiki Kincaid, Almadov, Robbie Gordon. So. Kincaid wanting to capitalize on being able to start near the front here and uh, and win. We, he's already got one this year, had some bad luck yesterday. Maybe he can make it happen today. If Davey, Davey Hamilton was going to have a moment, that was the place to do it because, oh, no, that's not the place to do it, though, for Eric Davis as he finds the tyre wall down here at turn eight. He was running in sixth position and will drop back to second last. That always evolving truck. He gets it in the tyres there. Eric Davis getting quicker and quicker as the weekend goes on, but but a mistake all on his own there. As you see Dustin Scott in that bright orange Speed Energy Toyota Tires track his truck. He's slowly making his way through the pack, going around that ramp, not enough room for him. Gets up into the pole, the dude Morris. <laughs> A lot of paint swapping going on towards the back of the pack here. Morris gave him as minimal room as he could give him on the exit of the second last turn as Dustin Scott will be right on board. The Speed Energy drinks number 20 over the big ramp. Look at the airtime it got there. Huge airtime. Second time in this lap, Dustin Scott got pushed off. Oh, no, it looks like Keegan Kincaid pulling that blue Traxxas truck off to the side. What a sad weekend. He finally got out in front, was leading this race and then mechanical failure once again strikes for the second time. It's a weekend to forget, it puts Robbie Gordon to the lead and again contact down the bottom. The dude's involved and now Pat O'Keefe finds the tire wall. Pat O'Keefe in the tire wall, Paul the Duke Morris almost spins out, gets a little help bringing it back around by McCory. A lot of action there. Here we are hop on board with Robbie Gordon, his Arctic Cat truck looking back. Looks like we are looking back right now at the UFD drivers, both of Hines and Brabham. Brabham with a top three finish yesterday in race number one here at Long Beach. Hines looking for a podium finish today, sitting in P2. Brabham started from the back row of this race, folks. He's up to third position behind the man who owns these trucks, Bill Hines, the man behind United Fiber and Data as they chase down Robbie Gordon. Now, Brabham challenges for second, gets the job done, does he? Yes, he does. Brabham with a clean pass on the boss. As Hines dives back to the inside, says, uh-uh, man. United Fiber and Data, we are racing, drag racing right behind him. Sheldon Creed, kind of almost getting a Malachi crunch, if you will, from the <laughs> United Fiber and Data drivers. Fourth to second place and one go around there. What a move for Sheldon Creed. Two for the price of one, and now he chases after Robbie Gordon as he hits the Traxxas ramp. The two UFD trucks go side by side over the ramp in turn 10, down to this notorious and very treacherous turn 11 hairpin. We've seen a lot of wild action happen in that hairpin right there, and same super trucks in the last four years of racing. Oh! As Robbie Gordon, all kinds of sideways, twice in a row off the Toyo and Traxxas jump as they go into the mandatory competition caution. Wow, lucky save then for Robbie Gordon. He leads us around to the first of two competition cautions here at Long Beach. Race number two continues after this. Welcome back to Long Beach as the green flag waves on this beautiful spring day and Robbie Gordon has got the 2015 champ glued to the back of the Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 entry. We saw this in race number one yesterday. Robbie Gordon and Sheldon Creed back and forth, just an epic battle. Then Gordon getting in an accident here. I'm hoping we see this all the way to checkered flag because this was going to be a race for the ages. As Gordon to the inside, still in the lead right now, right behind him is the number one of Creed. Brabham behind him, McQuarrie and Paul the Duke Morris. You can throw a blanket over the top six trucks. Paul Morris right in the thick of the action here also. So Matt Brabham and Sheldon Creed from the back of the road chasing Robbie Gordon who started mid-pack today in race number two. Goes a bit wide down there. 
on the exit of turn number five. This is going to give Sheldon Creed a big run here, although on the wrong side of cool. Absolutely. Sheldon Creed runs it in really deep. He's on the outside, dies back to the inside. I guarantee you, it's one thing to catch Robbie Gordon. It's another thing to pass him. And the same goes for Sheldon Creed. That's why both these drivers are going to have to dig deep down in their bag of tricks to get past one another. How often have we seen these two racing so hard yet so fair all season long? Go right back to 2015. They were doing the same thing there too. Absolutely. You see that right behind though. Matty Brabs, Tyler McQuarrie, Paul the Dude Morris. Those guys are right in tow. But behind them, look at them drag racing side by side. Dustin Scott, Eric Davis, Bill Hines, all of them have an epic battle back there. All three of those guys really picking up the pace this weekend here in Long Beach. It's almost like Bill Hines saw it was coming up then and just let these guys sort it out. There could have been three trucks stuck into each other down there at turn number nine. Here's the leaders heading down the main straight. Gordon Creed, we go back to Macquarie, who's dropped back to fourth place behind Matt Brabham now. Looks like he's slowing. Just huge hang time for all of those guys out in front. They are hitting these ramps on Siege Line Drive, just pinned out wide open right now. Sheldon Creed, can he make the pass over 140 miles an hour? Diving down all the suspension and the body roll and the oh, sidewalls oh. of these Toyo tires just squishing out from underneath the trucks as they get hard on those binders. So careful through here. They've been warned about the garden area. They can get past it nicely. So Creed starting to turn the temperature up here in the kitchen in second position, chasing down Robbie Gordon. Grab him up, up to third spot now. So they eat that curb rather aggressively on the inside there of turn number five. Back on board with Creed. Absolutely, there's four jumps out on the track, but there, there's six or seven of them, the way they're jumping these curbs, hitting them so aggressively to the inside. Right now, Creed back just a few feet off our leader, who's Robbie Gordon right now. Creed looking for a way to get by him, make it clean, make it right. That's how these guys have raced against each other these last couple of seasons here. They haven't really moved each other too much out of the way, gotten too aggressive. Meanwhile, we hop on board with Matty Brabham. Listen for just a moment, that truck screaming down that backstretch. Here comes Creed, pulls out, bit of a phantom look down the inside, slots in behind the Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 entry of Gordon. They continue on this epic battle for the lead here. Here we are, Creed now going into that sweeper. Matty Brabham right behind him, Tyler McQuarrie in the safe, safety equipment, number six. Those guys really right on top of one another, but who's hanging right in there? Coming from St. Petersburg to here, Paul the Dude Morris says, hey man, I gotta pick up my game here in the States, and he's doing just that as he's battling for a podium position. This time, Creed looks better. He's got the chance to go on the outside as they go past Keegan Kincaid's truck that's been parked there for most of this race. And now the 18-year-old goes past, just gives the front of the Arctic Cat entry a little bit of a kiss going down the main straight. He takes the lead. He does. He takes the lead back, Sheldon Creed. P2 is now Robbie Gordon. As you see flames coming off the truck, out of the exhaust of Tyler McCory as he dives into the third position. Matty Brabham, he rolls back to the fourth. So two big changes there in the top four coming off that front stretch. And Paul Morris just lurking in the background of the shot here in the black number 67 United Fibre and Data entry down to turn five and onto West Shoreline Drive again. Paul Morris, I'm not even going to go Paul the Dude, I'm going to go Paul the Shark Morris as he's <laughs> in the back. You can see him, he's just waiting to strike back there, swimming back and forth, waiting for all this to unfold right in front of him. He'll like that. Back on board with Gordon, the 47-year-old Californian with so much experience in world motorsport. Chasing down one of the young and up-and-coming stars at just 18 years of age in Sheldon Creed. You can hear him going into that hard turn eight after that big jump, those Toyo tires getting that power to the ground. So the tires are just squealing going around that as they go wide open, pushing 140 miles an hour again here. Looks like smoke coming out of Paul the Dude Morris's truck right now in the back. Meanwhile, still up front, Epic four-way battle. It's Creed, oh. Gordon, McQuarrie, grab him. Robbie Gordon way to the outside, up on three wheels. That was very awkward on the landing. Now brings McQuarrie and Brabham into the mix. So first four covered by a blanket here. As you see him heading down this front stretch, parts and pieces just falling off McQuarrie's truck. Body panels all over the track as they get ready to come down this next lap into the competition caution. McCory up on Robbie Gordon, really pushing them hard. Our second yellow in race number two is out. We'll take a short break and come back to Long Beach right after this break. 
The green flag is already waving here in the second and final race of the weekend at the 42nd Grand Prix of Long Beach. We're back underway. There's two mandatory competition cautions now in the record books here for this race. This is the final drag race to the checker. This is the battle royale. This is the main event right now. He's got a great battle for third. Oh. Matty for Hamilton and Tyler McCrory side by side swapping paint. Dustin Scott's traded fluoro orange for some white concrete marks then on the exit of turn number one. And now Matty Brabham, he's got the bonnet lifted up here and now gets into Macquarie and spins him around. Oh, Macquarie goes around backwards. Brabham with his hood shoved up in his face, or as you would call it, his bonnet. Matt, his bonnet shoved up in his face, make it very difficult to see, especially on these fast, long straightaways. And that kills the battle we had now for the first four positions. So two great battles have formed, and Dustin Scott gets into the party now, going down the inside of Eric Davis in the 75. That's the beautiful thing about the mandatory competition caution. Guys like Dustin Scott, they got the speed to win. When they get back in the pack and battling for a fourth, fifth, or sixth, slows them up a little bit. Now Dustin Scott racing for a third place position right now. But meanwhile, straight up grabbed another gear above the rest of the pack is Sheldon Creed and Robbie Gordon. It literally is like they have another gear in the truck they just shifted into these last few laps as Brabham, Scott, and Davis. All smoke coming off the tires as they barrel into that turn. There can't be anything left in that brake pedal then on the run down into turn nine. As the leaders exit turn 11 in the background of that shot, this three-way battle continues as we've got three laps to go. Here come the leaders. Sheldon Creed and Robbie Gordon, huge, huge air off those two jumps as they're jumping over body panels, parts and pieces, trucks parked on the side. These guys are full on checking out. Now, Creed building a bit of, bit of a gap on Robbie Gordon. I'm wondering, is this a mental game? Is Robbie saying, hey kid, I'm gonna let you get two, three seconds in front of me, then I'm gonna crush your hopes and dreams. What's the plan here? Or does Creed just have that much speed right now? Hard to tell, any of these two will know. So he just pinches the brake then going across the top of the garden area, if you will, and the run up to turn number four. As you see him going through this tight section, we haven't seen too much passing right there. A lot of tire rubber on the walls. We've had some trucks get in the wall earlier on in this race as they get ready to go down this fast section into the next left-hander, then a big jump down the hill. Only two and a half laps left to go for our leaders. Meanwhile, in the back in third place, Dustin Scott looks like Eric Davis having an epic battle. These gentlemen out front, the ground just drops out, the earth falls away from the trucks as they go off that Toyo Tires ramp. Now we say that Sheldon Creed is 18 years of age, he's got a massive career ahead of him, but he's been doing this racing for about 15 years now. He started on BMX bikes, he went into quarter midget racing, he's been doing off-road racing for the better part of five or six years now, and he's just 18, it's quite phenomenal. Yeah, he's been doing this since he was just a pup, and uh, all the different types of racing has shown in his ability and in his speed right now to run so well with undoubtedly one of the best, most competitive drivers in the world. Look at Robbie Gordon, dives oh, to the no. side. Oh, Mr. Gentleman, that racing just went out. Those guys never swap that kind of paint as Gordon just blows into the back of Sheldon Creed and spins him out. I can tell you right now, Sheldon Creed is not happy as the two of them could have saw the whites in each other's eyes as they spun out with two laps left to go, man. Didn't the crowd like it? They stood up as one on the exit turn number 11 as we start the final lap of this race today in Long Beach. Tell you some of the most amazing battles in Stadium Super Truck history has been in between these two drivers. Just epic, epic, amazing battles. But they're always pretty easy each other. You'll see them rub a little bit. They'll lean on each other. They don't spin each other out. They don't take each other out until today when Robbie Gordon gets in the back of Sheldon Creed and spun him out there with just two laps to go. I guarantee you Sheldon Creed is not going to let that go lightly. He's right back on the tail of the Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 through turn number five. He's got a better run out of here. They're going to drag race down West Shoreline Drive. Gordon just moves back across to protect the line. See Gordon protecting that line. Creed diving in behind him. Says, don't worry, don't worry. I got you, I got you. As they go off this off-camera Toyo tires jump. Like I said lap before, jumping down that hill. The earth is just falling out behind him. Did you see that? Now Creed dives back in, into formation behind him. Got a long straightaway here, see if he can get some run and outpower him down the straightaway. Right down the middle of the road, he's gonna make Creed do it the hard way. They're side by side, they come up to the right-hander, pinching the brakes, the crowd getting right into the action here at Long Beach today. Looks like Sheldon Creed dives to the inside. 
nice and easy, rubs a little bit, swaps some minor paint there. They both go off that Traxxas drum into this sweeping turn. We should be coming up on seeing a white flag here any moment. It's wondering if Creed goes in. Oh, oh Creed, such a nice kid. Could have got the boss band back, and he doesn't as they drag race down Shoreline Drive. Beautiful passing out of those corners, and now we start the final lap. The white flag is in the air. Epic racing right here as Creed gets out in front and does it nice and smooth. I thought for sure Sheldon Creed was going to pile drive Robbie Gordon's truck and uh, move him right out of the way, and he did oh, no. it nice and mellow. Gordon takes it back from him one more time. What a race! Three lead changes in the last lap and a half. Unbelievable. Have you spoken too soon? I, I very well make it. Oh, no. Oh. Huge crash down here. One of the safe craft safety equipment trucks upside down. I believe it's Pat O'Keefe. And it looks like it's on the main straight as Creed just glanced the wall where Matt Brabham did earlier today in race number two. This is the final lap, but the attention will be what's happened back at the start line there. And it's just going to be really interesting. These two guys obviously out there racing for the lead here. Caution comes out in sections of the track. And then we we have an accident. Looks like on the front stretch here. We'll check that out more mentality. But right now we have a battle for the finish here. It's these guys running it hard, both Robbie Gordon and his Arctic Cat Wildcat 1000 truck battling up against Sheldon Creed and his Red Traxxas number one. And so here we go again. We just saw this move a moment ago. Creed dives to the inside. Is he able to make it stick? Just. Just, yes he does. So he puts the pass on Robbie Gordon and takes the lead on the final lap down to turn 10. The side by side of the ramp, he gets that ramp awkward again, does Robbie Gordon. I have to imagine you're going, they're gonna have, to, something's gonna have to give oh. here. Oh, and it does. Robbie Gordon gives as they come into the front stretch. I believe this is where the accident is. So that's how that race is going to finish. As Robbie Gordon, Sheldon Creed, what a battle back and forth. Two amazing stories here. I, I don't know what's wilder, that race for the finish, or Pat O'Keefe up on his lead, lid on the front stretch. Sheldon Creed goes over the finish line backwards for fun. We got word from race control. Pat O'Keefe is fine. He is up and in good shape. So as we finish under caution here, and of course, Robbie Gordon going into a full freestyle show. Here's a replay of what happened earlier. Pat O'Keefe oh, no. gets really sideways. Oh, my goodness, up into the catch fence, Matt Nolte. Wow. Oh, this is going to be for the onboard camera. Landed awkwardly. It was sideways, hitting the second ramp. And look at the roll cage. Did its job perfectly that time. Wild ride. Oh, into a catch fence. Catch fence does its job. The roll cage does its job. Tyler McQuarrie says, what is going on? Oh, look at this, front row seat. Oh, boy. And doesn't hit him. Tyler McQuarrie says, that's worth the price of admission right there. There's Pat O'Keefe, looking good, safe. Everything doing its job. There is your winner, Sheldon Creed, goes back to back here today on the streets of Long Beach. We'll catch up their winners after the break.